When we talk about personality types in leadership, it makes sense to focus on a widely used tool, the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, or MBTI. Let's take a look. The MBTI is an introspective self-report questionnaire with the purpose of indicating differing psychological preferences and how people perceive the world around them and make decisions. Myers-Briggs Type Indicator instrument uses four different pairs of attributes to classify people into one of 16 different personality types. The introversion versus extroversion dimension focuses on where people gain interpersonal strength and mental energy. Extroverts gain energy from being around others and interacting with others, whereas introverts gain energy by focusing on personal thoughts and feelings. The sensing versus intuition dimension focus on how a person absorbs information. Those with a sensing preference gather and absorb information through the five senses, whereas intuitive people rely less on direct perceptions. The thinking versus feeling dimension relates to how much consideration a person gives to emotions in making a decision. Feeling types tend to rely more on their values and sense of what's right or wrong, and they consider how a decision will affect other people's feelings. Thinking types tend to rely more on logic and be very objective in decision making. The judging versus perceiving dimension concerns an individual's attitudes towards ambiguity and how quickly a person will make a decision. People with a judging preference like certainty and closure. They enjoy having goals and deadlines and tend to make decisions quickly based on available data. Perceiving people, on the other hand, enjoy ambiguity, dislike deadlines, and may change their mind several times before making a final decision. Perceiving types like to gather a large amount of data and information before making a decision. Individuals develop unique strengths and weaknesses as a result of their preference for introversion versus extroversion, sensing versus intuition, thinking versus feeling, and judging versus perceiving. Studies have confirmed that there's no leader type in all of the 16 MBATI types, and each can function effectively as leaders. Leaders can learn to use their preferences to balance their approaches and best suit followers in a situation. Based on some research, the two preferences that seem to be most strongly associated with successful leadership are thinking and judging. However, this doesn't mean that people with other preferences can't be effective leaders. Much more research needs to be done before any conclusions can be reached about the relationships between MBTI types and leadership. Leaders can learn to work more effectively with different personality types by following some simple guidelines. First, understand your own personality and how you react to others. Avoid judging people based on limited knowledge and realize that everyone has different facets to their personality. Learn to control your frustration and help keep different personality types focused on the goal and the tasks needed to reach it. Treat everyone with respect. People like to be accepted and appreciated for who they are. Even if you find someone's personality grating, remain professional and keep your irritation to yourself. Don't gossip or joke about other personality types. Acknowledge each person's strengths. Everyone wants to be recognized for their unique talents, so be sure to acknowledge and make the use of people's useful personality characteristics. Always strive for understanding. A good approach to take with a personality type widely different from yours is to clarify questions every time there's a potential for miscommunication. Follow up each question or request with a statement explaining why you've asked and how it will benefit the organization as well as the individual. And finally, remember that everyone wants to fit in. No matter their personalities, people typically take on behavior patterns that are the norm for the environment. Leaders can create norms and keep everyone focused on positive interactions and high performance. In addition, being aware of your own MBTI type enables leaders to maximize their strengths and minimize their weaknesses. Leaders should remember that each type can have a positive and negative consequence for behavior.